Hi there, welcome to Hong Kong Kids at Home. By joining with me today, you've made a decision to spend some time learning more about Jesus and about God's Word. And that's really exciting. I'm so glad to hear. Have you ever been in a position where somebody's asked you a question about your faith, a question about Jesus, or about the Bible, about what the Bible has to say about a certain situation? But have you been in that position where you've been asked a question and didn't know the answer? And then you feel guilty because you don't have all the answers? Well, the good news is we're not expected to. All we're expected to do is to have faith in Jesus Christ. But we're also expected to learn as much as we can along the way. Not everything, but the more you can learn, the greater your faith will grow. So, pray for your friend. Even though you may want to argue or get mad, if you treat her the way you'd want to be treated, everything will be okay. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Phew. I've been going nonstop. That was my fourth connection transmission today, and it took me a while to figure out the answer. Well, you figured it out, and that's what counts. Tony, sometimes I wonder if I'll always be able to find the right answer. I've been trying to read the Bible as much as I can, but I'm worried I'll never know enough to help everyone. Well, Dot, you're doing your best. And you just have to trust that God is going to teach you everything that you need to know. Plus, you have a lot of teammates here But what here if that... that's not enough? What if I'm not enough? What if someday someone needs my help and I didn't study hard enough and I can't give them an answer? Well, I, I don't think it's going to work like what that. What if I, think... I give a kid the wrong answer? And then they turn into someone who swallows gum, or holds a face so long that it sticks, or runs with scissors. It will be my fault. I have to know more. I have to be more. Well, that's not good. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links. Make the connection. And you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is the time I learned everything I needed to know. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There are too many problems out there. So many things to figure out. So many kids are counting on me. Hey, Dot. Have you seen the first aid kit? Mike claims he invented some new form of exercise, so I figure it's only a matter of time until he hurts himself. Dot. Dot. Alyssa, it's too much. I know. I told Mike the pastel workout clothes were too much, but he insists they're an important part of the exercise. Ow! My hands are straight. I don't know enough to help every kid. I don't know enough to solve all of the world's problems. Dot. No one expects you to solve all the world's problems. You know that, right? It's from one of our field offices. Let's answer this and then you and I can talk about whatever it is that's on your mind, okay? Hey, Connect HQ. Billy here calling from historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is my new friend, Johnny. Hey there. Johnny has a pretty big question, and I thought you could help. Some of my friends have started asking me questions about church and the Bible and stuff like that, and sometimes they ask me questions that I can't answer. Should I have all the answers? That's the point of reading the Bible, right? To give us all the answers? What do you think, Connect HQ? Can you help? Alyssa, do you think you could take this one? I'm out of answers today. I don't know what to say. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, Dot, would you mind answering this question? Yeah! You always know just what to say to put kids' minds at ease. Thanks. Dot, Dot, listen to me. It's going to be okay. No, it's not. What am I gonna do? Well, I would start with taking a breath. Wait, I've got it. I have the perfect point link. The point link is, you have to know everything in the Bible all the time to be useful to God. Uh, no, no, that's not the point link. Come on, Alyssa. And I think I know the verse link too. Hurry. Huh. We've got a live stream coming in from Connect HQ. Let's give it a look. Hey, Johnny, your problem is nearly impossible to overcome, but I found the only verse link that can help. It's in the book of the Bible. Say it with me like this. 
Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. The darkness covered the deep waters. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. I'm fine. Everybody, I'm fine. I, I guess I'll just walk, walk it off. Maybe I'll do a, a handspring to loosen me up. Go! Go! I'm fine. Count off seven weeks from when you first begin to cut the grain. So how long is this one going on? Uh, well, she started with Genesis 1-1, and she's pretty much been going strong At ever since. At the time of the harvest. Then celebrate the festival of harvest to honor the Lord your God. She's on Deuteronomy 16 right now. Well, man, if I wasn't so worried about her, I'd be impressed. I know. So why does she want to turn the entire Bible into a verse link? Uh, she thinks the only way to help people is to know the entire Bible and Bring have all the Bring him a voluntary offering in proportion to the blessings you have received from him. OK, next one. You know, I think I kind of understand what Dot's going through. How so? Well, whenever I first started at Connect HQ, I was so worried that I didn't know the Bible well enough, like the rest of you, that I spent so much time studying the Bible that I forgot to slow down and let it change my spirit. I get what you're saying. I mean, God didn't just give us the Bible so that we could memorize it and have all the answers. He gave it to us so we could know how much He loves us and so that our spirits could have the healthy food of His truth. That reminds me of a Bible story. Here, watch this. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem to celebrate a holiday called the Passover with friends and family. And when Jesus was 12 years old, he got to go with them. Come on, sweetie, it's time to go. I'm here, Mom. Did we get everything, honey? Uh, I think so. Did we get everything? Yes, sir, we got everything. Jerusalem was very crowded because everyone there was celebrating the Passover. After the big celebration was all over, Mary and Joseph left with a huge crowd. They thought Jesus was with them, but Jesus actually stayed behind. I think God wants me to go to the temple to spend time with him. And why not? After all, he is my father. At first, Mary and Joseph didn't notice because they thought he was with the rest of the large crowd. But when night came, they realized Jesus wasn't with his friends and family, and they freaked out. Have you seen Jesus? No. Wasn't he with his friends? I thought so, but maybe he got lost along the way. Brilliant. I've just lost God's son. Excuse me, have you seen Jesus? After three days of searching, Joseph and Mary found Jesus in the temple. He was listening and talking to the priests and teachers of God's law, and they couldn't believe how wise Jesus' answers were. Son, why did you leave us? We've been looking for you for three days. Why did you need to look for me everywhere? Didn't you know I'd be here? Where I could worship my father and be about his business? You see, even as a child, Jesus made the wise choice to seek God and spend time with him above anything else. The Bible says that Jesus went back home and obeyed his parents in everything he did, and Jesus continued to grow taller, but he also grew in wisdom and was blessed by God and people. Jesus understood, even as a boy, how important it is to feed God's word to your spirit. That's why he went to the temple, so that he could spend time with his father and hear his word. Yeah, Dot's been spending so much time answering other kids' questions that 
I bet there's a big chance that her spirit is not getting the healthy food that it needs. And I bet her spirit is hungry. That's why she's been acting so worried. When your spirit's unhealthy, you can be sad, angry, even depressed. That's why it's so important to remember that reading the Bible keeps your spirit healthy. Reading the Bible keeps your spirit healthy. That is a great point link for Dot. And a great point link for Johnny too. Well, that works out. Here, help me think up a verse link as we head back up to the observatory. Hopefully Dot hasn't scared Johnny away. <laughs> Guys, I finally perfected. I could have sworn I heard voices in here. I hit my head too many times. And that wraps up Jude. Now, the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. Dot. Chapter one, verse one. Dot. Say it with me like this. Dot. Dot. Who are you? Listen, we need to talk to you for a second. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. You don't mind if we talk to Dot for a second, do you? Please talk to her as much as you want. When am I gonna get to see my family again? Dot, how are you doing? The answer can be found in the book of Dot. Chapter 13, verse two. Say with me like this. Dot can't think straight. She probably needs a nap. Dot, Tony and I have something we want to say to you. There are so many people to help, Alyssa, and I don't know all the answers. None of us do, Dot, but God gives us what we need to know each week to help the kids that we need to. Then why do I feel so hopeless? Tony and I have noticed how hard you've been working and studying the Bible, but have you allowed God's word to feed your spirit? Feed my spirit? What's that supposed to mean? We're glad you asked. We found a Bible verse for you. It's found in the book of Matthew, chapter four, verse four. Say it with us like this. Matthew four, four. Matthew four, four. But Jesus told him. But Jesus told him. People do not live by bread alone. People do not live by bread alone. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. But, but by, by every, every word, word that, that comes from the mouth of God. See, God's word doesn't exist just so that we can memorize it and have all the answers for people. It's much more than that. It's meant to feed us, to help us grow spiritually and to keep us healthy. I guess I'd kind of forgotten about that. I've been so focused on studying the Bible to help others that I haven't taken the time to let God's word help me too. How are you feeling now? Better, thanks. And I think you've helped me find an answer for Johnny. I'm gonna make a real connection transmission for him this time. And then I'm going to spend time reading my Bible. I'm tired of having an unhealthy spirit. Speaking of unhealthy. Yeah, I'll go have a talk with Mike. Dot, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Hi, Johnny. It's me, Dot. Sorry about earlier. I was working through some stuff. But my friends taught me a great verse, and I think it could help you too. It's from the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. Say it with me like this. Matthew 4, 4. But Jesus told him, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The Bible isn't just a big book you're supposed to memorize. It's the story of God's love for us and his words feed our spirit. Jesus understood this when he was a kid. He knew how important it was to spend time near his father and his father's word. But I lost track of that today. I spent so much time learning about the Bible so I could answer questions like yours that I forgot to let the Bible feed my spirit too. My spirit was hungry and when our spirits get hungry, we might start feeling empty, sad, or worried. So, no, Johnny. God doesn't expect you to have all of the answers, but he does want you to keep reading his word because reading the Bible keeps your spirit healthy. I hope this was more helpful than the transmission you saw earlier. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Thanks, Dot. That was just what I needed to hear. And we're both glad you're doing better. See you next time. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. Yep, 
It's nice to read the Bible for myself for a change. God gave us his words so we would know how much he loves us. If you want to be friends with God, you can make that choice today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If so, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader you trust.